Sharp, honestly, getting here from the winner's side of bracket, because we are on the winner's side, if the name doesn't explain. Um, <laughs> but Sharp kind of made it through pools here a little bit here. Let's take a uh, looking at who he beat. He beat Ataro, uh, obviously a Ness main here, and then he beat Andrew T. And then Sharp also beat um, Re... God, some tags are hard to say. Rebase. So he beat Rebase, Andrew T, Atara, and then now he is here at Waka to fight into top eight. Waka on the other side here of Forza Don with a 2-1 against nine. And then Forza Don upset over nine Super Pi. I apologize if I don't know who Forza Don is because there will be somebody in the chat who tells me, you don't know so-and-so who's ranked so-and-so in such region and that region. Of I'm like, I'm sorry, man. There's an insane amount of players offline. But there is even seven times more like insane amount of players online. Online, uh, of course, Forza Don beat uh, Vargus into nine super pie. Yeah, two zero. What an upset there. Uh, using Shulk, so we know that Forza Don is uh, was a Shulker who upset nine super pie. Of course, Waka was the person who beat Forza Don, which now sets him here up against Sharp. Waka two zero over Yes in my eyes. That is an upset. And then Waka two one over Mister Con Con. That is two upsets in the belt today, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, some crazy upsets here for Waka. Good stuff to Waka, because, man, that's, those are some names to definitely take out. As a Cloud main, and of course, speaking of Cloud main, we're definitely seeing Sharps, Wolf, and Wa I think, hold on. I may or may not know who's who. I know Waka is the Cloud. So we're seeing Sharp on the Wolf, Waka on the Cloud. The hard part here is that we see the Wolf with the 7th Heaven tag, and that's a Final Fantasy VII reference. And I'm just, uh, I'm lost for words here, but let's get into Game 1 here. Game 1, we're starting out with PS2, and uh, currently Sharp is not looking so good, but good uh, use of the cross slash with, uh, from Waka right now. It's staying at 0%, doing really well using his tilt and his aerials. Just getting hit right there, though. Miss, uh, missing that fair though. It's trying to do that classic up B at a shield, but he failed to do that, and he just got his limit. Yeah, uh, Cloud was limit on Wolf here. You, you're, you know, you got 15 seconds of fame, and you can make it work. Uh, honestly, Wolf's recovery options, pretty very, very similar game plan to Club Foxes. Just at different angles. Excuse me, had a little bit of a water in my. But anyways, the thing here is that even if you have those 15 seconds of fame, it's really good against characters like Wolf once you get him off stage. Because you just have to really evaluate how far you're going to read on him. But uh, Sharp is no joke, man. He is immediately has a stock lead. Tries to go for an aerial off the side of the stage here. That's a really tough, tough call because most players will go for the option of, hey, I want to get out of the corner, therefore I jump by it. Unfortunately, that is a common option going for a roll there. Not a great option, and then you can tell that Walker here is onto something. Limit, I like this play here because he fakes out that opportunity to go for a limit option, but he said he opts for forward, so I end up actually taking care of that reflector and then the up air to secure it all. Walker knows these wolf recovery options, man. Yeah, this, uh, that's that's really interesting that he was able that. Uh, I'm guessing Sharp was ex uh, used the reflector and he was expecting him to use the. Uh, the neutral special uh, as like the projectile version of the limit, but I guess not. He actually just stalled and waited, which is uh, very good on his part. Yeah, and honestly, sometimes the best patience is the patience that you can do to stall and just read your opponent. Having trigger control is the hardest thing to do in FPSs. Imagine that in a fighting game where you just want to press the buttons. Yeah, oh, I mean... Oof. Man, that, I'm sorry. That was so clean. So he hit him with Nair, Nair, and of course that's late hit Nair, which is the back hit of Nair, and then you're able to just get that tech chase and the down smash. That's the crazy thing about Wolf, man. He has damage snowballs, but if you're not able to tech, which on Wi-Fi, let's be honest, you, barely anybody can tech. Oh no, that was, oh, that's so rough. That was such a tough situation because he had pretty much exhausted most of the options. He went for a low recovery, and at that point, it's really hard because you've, with as Cloud, you're susceptible to actually being punished by Wolf Nair. And in trying to avoid Wolf Nair, he directional air dodged, but he wasn't that close to the stage. Sharp taking game one. Dang, that was rough. I mean, I mean, even though Cloud's pretty powerful with the sword and his range, like the one thing he does lack in is his recovery. But I mean, every character has their flaws and like, Every character has a, has a weakness, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, big, big, what's up to uh, Guapo99 here in the chat? 
Also, somebody asking here, do you have to... Do you have to go to drink at the bar? No, you don't. You can have a good time at the bar without drinking, man. Drink responsibly and always watch out for your friends. Honestly, call an Uber. I hope everybody gets safe. And also, don't act a fool, man. You want to be cool as a cucumber with everybody around you. And you don't have to drink at the bar. You can always just be there to have a good time. But if you do, be responsible. You know, have a designated driver. You know, the Uber is better than the DUI. But uh, speaking of, not speaking of DUIs, because none of these guys are playing like they're on a DUI. Of course, Sharp, definitely one of those players who's always a common collected, but he definitely really evaluates his players and his opponents all the time. One thing here for Sharp, though, is leading into game two. Not much adaptation for him. It's kind of more so on Waka in the offstage play, where like there's just a couple situations where he kind of has to really be careful. But unfortunately, with that forward air, there is going to be the side B. Not it just yet. And then reading the landing with forward smash. Man, Sharp is on game one from game two already. He knows he wants his top eight. Despite the fact that Waka has like quite a few upsets tonight. Sharp is a whole different beast. And I think Sharp does not want to get upset. Oh, nice to the up throw to forward air to use a combo there. Bringing up to 43%. Good up tilt. Oh, missing that up smash though. I feel like if she... Would have turned the other way, he probably would have hit that, or maybe he could have resulted in using another aerial instead. Yeah, and now that he has, he has quite a few aerials, but like sometimes some aerials, like you have to really by the way, is this the best one for the right call? Honestly, like you know what they say, right? You want to use the best tool for the right job. Yeah. Very true. All right, using that wall jump, which is very interesting uh, tool, but that does that did get rid of it as invincibility and uh, good grab use of uh, by Waka using that forward throw. Waka getting back to stage with that uh, with that recovery. Right now, Sharp isn't looking too good. Nice use of the down throw. Waka right now is being is hesitant and getting back oh. to stage and gets hit with uh, Wolf's recovery and doesn't make it. Yeah, it's rough too, because like I said, Wolf's damage no balls, but he has quite a few sticky aerials. Nair being one of them that's able to just beat out a lot of options. And with Cloud, if you have any sticky aerial that can beat out that up B, man, you're just going to send Cloud right into the dumpster fire. That is his recovery plan options. Oh, uh, still though, I mean, it's not quite over just yet for Waka. Like, I still want to see him bring it back. But the way that Sharp plays, man, he's just on a terror. But unfortunately, that tech roll in towards this Cloud once again. That's going to be damage here for Waka, and he's looking for this opportunity, but a couple wolf combos across the stage. Almost this full corner carry. Jesus. I'll tell you, man. Sharp is a man who's, who always plays like it's game five. He's never afraid to pull, turn on the Jets to 11 and then just take his opponents all across the round the stage. Oh, missed forward smash, though, and this gives Waka the center stage to come back. But in the middle of that, Sharp is going to make sure Waka has to face against another aerial. There's one thing I do know about Sharp is he does like to play characters with a lot of combo game, but good use of the back air to get rid of Sharp's second stock. Waka right here is going to have to be very careful. He could possibly pull off uh, something crazy with his limit here, but he only has 15 seconds and the countdown starts maybe a few seconds ago, but missing that uh, neutral special right there. Good use of the cross slash though. Good run up to shield though. Oh, yeah, up yeah, yeah. out of shield too. Nice. Here we go. Up air. Let's go. He's, he's getting him to almost a uh, kill percent. Oh, so, oh, I've seen that up smash out of shield though. Very unfortunate. No, uh, no, and the, that's the hard part too. And speaking of unfortunate, man, this is definitely unfortunate for Waka. Sharp moves up pretty much 2-0. Uh, unfortunate for Waka because he rolled right towards like disadvantage, which would be towards the ledge, and then that was a pretty strong read from Sharp. But also Sharp was just so strong with the pressure. That every time Waka like wanted to get out of situations, Sharp was pretty keen to just put on that pressure and force Waka into a lot of situations.